This is going to be my first summer as a mom and spring break was a small taste of how disciplined I'm going to have to be to be productive at home when there's people just hanging out. I want to make time to be present with my family and I also don't want to let my dreams die until school starts in September and feel so behind and defeated. I want to share the ways that I'm going to be squeezing in time to still practice and play. Playing first thing in the morning with my cup of tea, there's something slow and settling to making beautiful piano music first thing in the morning. It sets the tone for a relaxing and a happy day. Also sneaking in 10 minutes while the kids are eating breakfast. I will also be using the first few minutes of their time playing outside, playing basketball as a chance to sit down and practice, even if it's just setting a timer for 10 or 15 minutes. The tricks that work for you will depend on the age of the humans that are in your home. If you have older kids, you can involve them by asking them to set a timer for 15 minutes and let them know they can't ask you about anything or bug you during this time, even though they still might. Make sure they have everything they need and make sure they have something to do and you focus on practicing for just that small chunk of time. Another option is to involve your kids in the practice time. So have them choose a song and then they can all sing along while you play. Or you can put them on another instrument like pots and pans or real drums or real instruments and play together. You could turn up the original track and play alone while they just dance and play around or play church. Kids love to do that. Your practice time during the summer shouldn't look perfect. Don't expect it to. Your goal is just to play as many days as you can. Five minutes counts, okay? This will keep your fingers from getting rusty. And when school starts again, you'll be three steps ahead and ready to learn something new. This is your chance to think outside the box when it comes to practice time. You can use family time, birthday parties, Friday nights as an excuse to play for everyone to sing karaoke. You can add playing to your devotion time. Singing and playing is worship and it creates a rich connection to the presence of God. You can also use family nights as a time to sing and play your favorite worship songs together. Those are all some fun ideas. What I want you to remember is that you just wanna to try to touch your keyboard as many days as possible, okay? There's no like set rules. Through the summer, think of ways to make it as easy as possible. It's impossible to do it wrong, okay? And I would love to hear what creative ways that you are playing this summer. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Toon Bucket Piano Lessons YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Toon Bucket Piano Lessons. Bye everybody.